Well, it might not feel like it, but for a lot of us, the holiday shopping season is officially over. That's right. And uh, a couple things you need to keep in mind, you know, when you're when you're looking at that, you know, red and green striped sweater or something else that you may not, you know, want to keep. You might not want to wait too long before doing something about it. And joining us this morning is our money and time saving expert, Denise Winston. And she's here to talk more about some tips on things that you might want to keep in mind. I mean, people think, OK, finally, the, the holiday's over. No. Get back in the trenches. <laughs> You've got to wrap up the holidays. You already wrapped everything, and yeah. now you need to wrap up the holidays. And the best thing you can do is very strategically think about that. Okay. And there's three really smart things that you can actually do to do this during the holidays. First thing is that holiday cash you got yes. is spend it wisely. Okay. Okay. The best gift you can give yourself is the gift of peace of mind. Okay. okay. So consider instead of indulgent, maybe funding your emergency cash reserve. Okay. okay. Maybe strategically paying down some of that high interest debt that mm -hmm. you may have. You could either strategically do car repairs or even fund your retirement. I know that sounds crazy, but it is a gift that you should be giving yourself because it'll last all year. Peace of mind is incredibly valuable. Right? All right. So we're not going to run out and buy that purse because we've got a hundred dollar gift card. Exactly. Something. Okay. You really want to think about it. Although it's tempting. There goes it's my tempting. purse. You might even. Yeah. There's lots of things you can do that. Second thing that you want to do is you want to return your gifts. You do not want to wait, as you said, because the holiday um, stores have the retailers have relax their return return policies oh. mm -hmm. so that you don't have to have as many receipts and the, okay. you know, they're a little more lax. Mm -hmm. But if you have your receipt, you want to make sure you take it with you so you get the full value okay. that somebody paid and you don't get that, you know, because they discount everything. Oh, I was going to yes. say, I've, I've, I've had that happen before. So yeah. you really want to look for the receipt. Yeah. And even if you're not going to buy something straight away, you want to consider, you know, getting a gift card so you can use it later in the year. You just want, don't want to miss that return window. Okay. 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 And the last thing you want to do is you really want to think about buying that excess holiday inventory yeah you know 75 90 percent off so you're buying things for 25 to 10 cents on the dollar mm. and that's um, decorations you you know even food items they wrap candy you're gonna eat the candy anyway why right. not buy it it <laughs> yeah. doesn't matter that it's actually in that um, you know and even holiday gift baskets mm -hmm. even though it's in a holiday basket you can extract that and re wrap it right for birthdays and that type of thing or even use it if it's shampoo ba bubble bath right I don't right. care yeah. yeah. Crystal said she was just gonna dump all of her Christmas decorations. I want to get rid of all my old Christmas decorations wow. and buy a bunch of new stuff. Wow. So I've got, you know, new tree come the new year. And Christmas right. cards right now, that's the time to do it. Get okay. out there and, you know, 25 cents on the dollar. Oh, you can get some very nice I items. my gift card right. to shop for. That's right. Too much to pass up. <laughs> Can't resist. All right. Well, Denise, some good advice there. And as always, we can visit DeniseWinston.com. Great. Thanks. All right. Thanks, Denise. All right.